gosh, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, that was back in high school. I wish we had put Hello, hello. Is that on? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Hello and welcome. Thank you for coming out to the Eco Art Fashion Show. Sit back, relax, and prepare to see environmental art's latest fashions that are inspired by natural or recycled materials. These styles are so cutting edge that we can guarantee that you've never seen anything like it. Each of these students will be modeling their own creations and has provided a short explanation which will be read by our guest speaker, Whitney Blair. Hi everybody. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, awesome. You can't really hear it from here. Anyway, for our first <coughs> runway model, introducing Ariel. Here we have Ariel wearing a couture paper bag evening gown made with just 10 paper bags. Who says trashy can't be classy? <laughs> Don't you just hate forgetting to bring your newspaper to work? Well, now you can wear it. With paper rolls, sleek and shiny design, you'll fit in in any work environment. And now, Maria. Nothing like a tire outfit to keep you going through your day. With this outfit, you don't need to worry about a flat tire. It just keeps on rolling. Here is Elliot. The clang clang of this famous suit of armor should remind you to choose metal cans when drinking beer or soda. Knights choose metal for their lightweight properties and so should you. Cans reduce shipping costs by 35% compared to bottles. Her dress is made out of cutouts from two newspapers. Clothes made from recyclable materials are helping the world become more sustainable in its usage of, re of resources. When a newspaper is recycled, it is able to be reused up to seven times. So remember to recycle everything you can. Next up, Frank. This is a fashionable rain jacket made from caution tape, trash bags, hot glue, and a recycled hoodie. This jacket is about how toxic trash we throw away and how some people who burn cause acid rain. One day we'll have to wear polymer covered clothing to protect our skin and clothes from the chance of highly acidic rain. Jessica. Hey. Jessica is rocking an eco-friendly dress that is inspired by the recyclable materials that are commonly used for bag lunches. Woo. Brown paper bags to pack your food in, aluminum foil to wrap up sandwiches, Ziploc bags galore, as well as plastic covery are all materials that people commonly use and abuse when packing their lunches each day. Logan. He is rocking this pine flatwood shirt representing Florida's most extensive ecosystem and most impacted ecosystem due to development, the pine flatwoods. Their shirt is made from a common plant species found in the pine flatwood. In the pine flatwood? Introducing Eric, he's a junior of environmental studies. He is working, he's working as a pizza delivery driver for Leone's Pizza. His inspiration comes from a customer saying, we're drowning in paper. One night when he went to hand her the receipt. He has fabricated a bathing suit completely out of receipts and other pieces of paper he has collected in his car since. This outfit is inspired by the beautiful beaches of Southwest Florida and the dress features a sand design that mimics the natural pattern of erosion. This dress is com complemented with accessories made by she sells. Take to the senior art major who likes long walk on the beach and wearing the beach. Woo! Introducing Noel. The Maluka tree or paper bark tree is one of the biggest enemies of the Florida Everglades. This tree is an invasive party crasher, uninvited and trying to blend in. It masquerades until the gig is up and the environmental party begins to look like one meant only for the paper bark group. Here is a 
Dar. This summer dress was, was made especially for our wonderfully warm weather here in Florida. The top of the dress is made from an old silver sweater and pop tops. And the rest of the dress is made from nylon bags. The holes in the sweater and the lightness of the bag make this dress perfect for summer. For this piece, Alyssa made a swim cover-up outfit, complete with accessories for all your healthy needs. The cover-up itself is a combination of plastic bag handles, fast food, paper bags, soda rings, and other common beach trash. <laughs> Roxanne, have you ever wondered what to do with all of those leftover plastic bags that are gathering in your home? Here's the solution. Every five seconds, 60,000 plastic bags are used. Think of the clothes we could make. <laughs> Juliana is a junior art student who loves to spend free time at the beach. Today, she decided to keep the plastic bags out of the ocean and wear them on her dress instead. <laughs> outfit is inspired by her garden. Organic gardening is good for the body, mind, and earth. Now it's fashionable to be dirty. <laughs> and now we have Bridget. Why spend thousands of dollars on a couture wedding dress when you can have a one-of-a-kind dress made with love? This dress is created out of the packaging used to keep those special wedding gifts safe. Now you can amaze and thank your guests all at the same time. And last but not least, from our guest speaker Whitney Blair, today's dress was inspired by the metalized polypropylene that we often find in our chip bags, granola, granola bar wrappers, tea bags, and the lids to our yogurt. To translate, for those who are strictly fashion-minded, this essentially means it's a hot plastic and aluminum hybrid mess. If we can't pronounce the packaging material, do we really want it containing our food? Thank you very much. Come on up on stage so they can all give a big round of applause. Yay!